Hello, it's Teacher Christy again, Rogue Teacher on the Loose, with video number two. One of the most common questions that we're asked when new teachers come to VIP Kid is what do you use for props? What do you use to engage kids? When I began a VIP Kid, I invested a lot in props. I had way too many props. I had so many props that it was distracting and difficult. So what I want to share with you is my props have pared down to maybe eight that I use on a regular basis. And I only keep those props that I use because otherwise what happens for me is they get all over the place and they become challenging and cumbersome. I either have to find them before class or find them during class. And for me to stick with the props that work that I know well and that are easy to grab has been really useful. Um, I had probably 10 puppets and I only use just a few that I really like on a daily basis. So I'm going to show you the best of the best that I've discovered. If I can find the Amazon links for the products that I'm showing you today, I'll go ahead and put those down below if you want to check them out. I tend to purchase everything on Amazon simply because I have them for tax reasons. All of these things are completely tax deductible. You want to keep track of the taxes so that you can deduct them at the end of the year. The first uh, thing that I use, and I use this always with brand new trials, is the alphabet book. So I introduce the uh, letter to the kids, then I show them, and then we go through A is for apple, B is for banana. What I like about this book, it's really big, it's really colorful, and it's a great to um, contrast with what's happening on the PowerPoint. So we can do the PowerPoint, and then I show them A, and I have a little song that goes with each letter. Uh, it goes like this, I can't sing, sorry, but I will try to share with you. A, A, A says, A, 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 A says, A. What I like about this is we're teaching kids to speak in complete sentences, um, but also engaging them. So when I show this to kids, they automatically know that they need to start in on a song. And so I love this book. In fact, I've had to, you know, tape it up and make sure it lasts. So the alphabet book, um, again, I will post down below. Uh, I use only a couple of different uh, puppets. This puppet I use quite a bit. This is Dragon. I'm very creative in my names. Hello, Dragon! This was probably the most expensive that I bought. Um, it's by a brand that I always buy. And I tend to buy really uh, high quality props now because I have so few. But kids like this, I also like the feature that I can do this. So that essentially I can make the dragon do TPR, which is great. Um, that's very helpful, especially with trial students that uh, may not want to interact with me. I can reenact a lot of the TPR that I might use with them. I personally like the dinosaur, so I use the dinosaur a lot, especially because I can make his tongue stick out and I can make him talk. So he's my second puppet. And then this is my next absolute favorite puppet. Kids think it's great. I use it all the time. Whoa. I can do all sorts of fun and surprising things <laughs> with that particular puppet. So um, my 10 puppets now is down to three puppets. And those three puppets really add to how I can connect with kids, and especially in trial. I also was lucky enough to steal a dino. I sold a dino when I was in Beijing. If you don't have a dino, I've heard that they're going to start selling these. But the kids think the dino is pretty cool. Um, the second one that I have is for my reward system. I will use a magnetic stick board. And I have all different kinds. I have like different dogs and all kinds of things. And when they get a good job, they get to put on some piece of clothing on the dog. I have Domo, I have a bunch of different stuff. Kids get used to this. They think it's great fun. It gets them laughing. Great reward system. I love that it's all sticking together. I just put it in a tray. They're all right there. I like anything that helps me not lose things. Um, one thing that I use every single day is books. In fact, I'll do a, a post only on the books that I use. This is what I use um, to do for kids who finish quickly. And a lot of times they'll work really hard to finish quickly because they want to see what book I have. There's a lot of sliding books and books that do cool things. Um, all of these books, most of them I got on thrift books for about $3 a piece, free shipping. So I use those books on, on a regular basis, and the kids that I have get used to those books and, and really get excited about that. Uh, I use this a lot too, which is I've printed up a bunch of pictures 
of various things. These are my dogs, so it's a great conversation starter. Um, this one I use for weather. It's Northern Lights in the town that I'm in. And each of these pictures really helps engage people. So I'll say things like, um, what is teacher doing? This picture I use a lot, I think it's funny. It's like, well, what is teacher doing? Teacher is, you guessed it, feeding the giraffe. So I use those pictures quite a bit. Kids like to see my house, they like to see what's happening. I take pictures of my house in different seasons. And it gives us something to talk about and it gets a way for them to connect with me and connect with my life a little bit. And then the one that I use all the time is my bucket of Goodwill. <laughs> this is my bucket of Goodwill. I've been to Goodwill several times and I pick up random stuff at Goodwill. And occasionally you'll just get a fireman rear, 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 go across the screen. But what I have is mostly food. Food's great because we use food a lot. It's a great supplement or great filler for when you have extra time, you have them named food if I don't want to read a book. Um, also, it helps with a number of different things. So let me find, I have two of many things. So for example, I have two pizzas. And so I will say, this is pizza. These are pizzas. That is a pizza. So you're able, I, I move the pizzas all over to teach things like this, these, are, is, um, so having two of, of various kinds of foods, especially pizza as a favorite, is really helpful. What I did is bought grab bags at Goodwill. And so I have an entire huge bag. I keep them in this box, and I just pull it out when I need something to do. Love this box. My suggestion to you, don't spend the money ordering stuff off Amazon for this. Go and pick up a bunch of stuff. Like, I have random stuff that comes in these bags. One of the favorites that I use is this one. I did this with a kid who's really upset because we had technical issues. I just started flying the, the spaceship mommy. And they always call it mom on a spaceship, which kind of gets them laughing. So you just want to put a bunch of stuff. I keep everything in a bucket. If it gets too big for the bucket, I stop using it. Um, the last thing, my signature thing, and I think that when you're branding, you need something that is yours, is hats. So this is one of my hats. I have probably 30 hats. So every day that kids come to school, come to class, I have a different hat. And that really engages them. I'm the hat teacher. And that helps them brand when their parents are asking for a teacher. They go, I want that hat teacher. I would suggest finding something that's just you. So these are, I have lots more props. These are props that I use every day. And they've been very helpful for me. And I hopefully will save um, a new teacher, another teacher, um, a lot of money in buying props that you don't need. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I'll put as many as I can on the link down below from where I bought it. But see you soon. Bye.